Okay, so Wayne, the 2023 fixtures are out. It's always an exciting time. It always makes it feel like the season's getting closer. And how nice is it to know that the first game you kick off at home against Worcestershire in front of all the members? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, like, it, it's obviously a very exciting time um, to see the fixtures come out. Um, a little earlier than what it was last year, so the, there's a bit more um, time uh, to sort of get, get our heads around uh, where we're going to be and, and, uh, and who we've got to... Uh, just to kick off at home, obviously we haven't done that for, for a little while, so um, it, it's going to be great to, uh, to start in front of our, our own supporters um, and, uh, and yeah, hoping to get off, get off to a great start against Worcestershire. Yeah, Division 2 looks strong, it always looks quite strong, but when you look at it this year, you see Yorkshire coming down, Gloucestershire come down, there, there was still quite a few teams here who were good last season, Glamorgan, ourselves, Worcestershire had a late push. But how confident are you in the group that we have that we can compete and, and look towards the top end? Yeah, I think I think we've shown over the last uh, the last twelve months uh, what we can do um, in in red ball cricket, um, and I think we've put in some some really good performances. Um, we were on the cusp of of winning quite a few more games actually, uh, just didn't quite get over the line. I think having strengthened our squad um, over the last last couple of months, I think uh, yeah, it's it's really exciting. I think we're going to take take some, some confidence into next year in, in the way we've played this, this last season. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really optimistic about, uh, about the way we've been playing and, and what we're going to do next year. Yeah, and for yourself as a leading run scorer in the entire championship last season, you must be confident in being able to lead the batting unit into the new year. Yeah, I, I'm going to take a lot of confidence from the way I played, um, but we start again in, in, in April, which is the most important thing. It's not, not trying to get ahead of ourselves. Um, and when, when, I, when the time comes, for me personally and, and for the rest of the batting units is, is to put in strong performances and that's going to be crucial to, to setting up games uh, for us as a group. Yeah, moving on to Blast and it all kicks off with Blast Off. It's a completely new event. Derbyshire will be making history as the first game on that day at Edgebast and how nice will it be to be back on the biggest stage in front of a big crowd but also really being able to set down a marker and say you know, this is what we want to do this year. Yeah, I mean it's going to be, it's, it's an exciting way to get the uh, the T20 blasts up and running, and I, I think to be a part of that as a um, as a county, as a group of of players, is going to be um, super exciting. Um, and I think against Lancashire, we've had two pretty good games against them last year, um, both here to to win the way Scrimmy helped us uh, win in that final over last year. Here, um, I think playing them first up is is, is uh, a really exciting prospect, and um, as a group, we'll be we'll be sort of rearing to go. Um, Edgbaston's a, a fantastic place to play cricket. We've actually had some uh, some good form at Edgbaston over the last couple of years. Um, so yeah, to to go there um, to uh, to kick it all off, we we and, and a day like that, we're really excited. Yeah, and we got a club record nine wins in the uh, the Blast Group stage last season as well. What did you, not just as a player but as a team, learn from the Blast campaign last year that you can bring into to the new season? Um, I think that it's for us. It, um, that winning feeling and, and getting over the line in so many games, um, the confidence we can take from that as a unit, um, it, it, it's, I mean, yeah, that, that, that in itself is, is, uh, is really important. Um, the fact that we uh, played so well as a, as a collective, um, we'll take that into next, next year um, and, and hope to, to continue that form. And that, that belief um, in our abilities as a group is going to be crucial. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably the most important thing. Learning to win games of cricket is, is, is as a team and as a group is, is crucial and uh, we have that in the bank from, from the way we played last year. So to take that forward um, is going to be crucial. Yeah, and one game that's always great here at Derby is the East Midlands Derby against Knox. It's always a big crowd, it's always a passionate crowd. And would you a win over them? Can we get it this year, Wayne? Oh, we can, oh, I mean th that uh, w without doubt, yes, we can. Um, yeah, we got a we, we we were on the back of a pretty pretty impressive Alex Hales masterclass last year. Um, but it, it it's always a, a, a mouth watering uh, prospect playing playing knots here. We've had some exciting games um, against them, um, and as a group, um, that'll be at the forefront of, of our minds, trying to trying to make sure that we uh, we we get one over them in in, um, in the blast, uh, especially. I think obviously. Um, for us and for our fans and supporters, um, it's uh, it, it's really important to um, to get that momentum going, and that that being our uh, one of our our first home games is is, is going to be sort of important to um, to kickstart our, our season. 
Yeah, and I know that one thing that was really helpful for the players last year were the crowds at Derby in the T20s. You think back to the game against Lancashire, you think back to the game against Durham, but really every game we had good crowds for and good atmospheres for. How much does it help you as, as players when you've got you know a, a really good crowd behind you? Yeah, uh, it's, it's so important. And I think that was the for us as a group, it wasn't just winning the games, but winning the games in front of big crowds and seeing all the... Um, the enjoyment, especially on the on the, the families, the kids, um, getting out and, and and performing for them, and um, was was pretty special as a group. Um, and yeah, having having that extra that extra supporter in the crowd is always important. Um, so so to to have that on our on our back is pushing us to um, to achieve even more for for uh, for our supporters. Yeah, and the Chesterfield Festival's back as well in June. It promises to be one of the biggest we've ever had. We've got Yorkshire not only in the T20 but in the four day. Uh, how much are you looking forward to locking horns with them across five days of cricket? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think obviously for us this year there'll be an added added bonus of of of, uh, of playing against our former teammates, uh, Shiny obviously um, at Yorkshire. So it 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 adds to the stakes a little bit more even. Um, but I mean, Chesterfield's a wonderful place to play cricket. We had a great win against Middlesex there last year, um, and obviously Yorkshire in the T20. So. We go there with a lot of confidence. Um, we love playing at the ground. It's just, it's a pretty special place for us. Um, and as you say, it's going to be uh, it, it, as a as a festival. It's going to be really exciting playing Yorkshire um, back to back in a four day game and a and a and a blast game. So that 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 really the crowd uh, Yorkshire brings some good support down, but we have an amazing amazing crowd uh, crowd support there as well. So um, such an exciting atmosphere and um, yeah, it's something that, uh, something that I'm really looking forward to next year. Yeah, I know you like playing at our grounds as well and we've got Cheltenham and Scarborough also on the fixture list this year. How much are you looking forward to going to those places and and maybe for a few of the younger players, showing them how to play at these different grounds? Yeah, I mean, obviously going we, you don't get to play on these out grounds all the time. So uh, Scarborough, I haven't played for probably sort of seven, eight years. I haven't been, been to Scarborough um, and it's a, it's a wonderful place to play cricket. Um, Rowdy, uh, quite uh, a partisan crowd, should we say, out there um, on the coast, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's always a, it's always a good place to go and play cricket. And Cheltenham, I made my debut at Cheltenham um, at, at, at the festival, and again, uh, just a, such a uh, um, a special place to play to play cricket. The the atmosphere around the ground uh, is is fantastic at the school. Um, and yeah, as a group, trying to trying to pass on uh, little bits to to the, the the younger guys in the squad is going to be important. Yeah, and lastly, obviously a few of the players are back now, working. What sense do you get from from the group? What are the ambitions for this season? Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's always at this this time of year. There's a lot of um, sort of I would say. The anticipation is is slowly starting to build up. Uh, it, it, the season still seems uh, a little little bit off, but it's about building up to it. And I think, um, yeah, we we'll, we as a group, uh, you can you can sense the 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 confidence in terms of um, the the new guys who, who brought a, a really great energy and uh, enthusiasm to the to the squad, both Zach and Matt, uh, in terms of their training and how they do things. Um, so it's, it's, it's fantastic to have them and then we've got a lot of guys away as well at the moment um, sort of getting cricket abroad um, and by the time sort of February, March comes the, the build up is, and the anticipation for the season is going to be there but definitely uh, I think as a group um, there's, there's, there's a lot more expectation because of the, how we played this year on ourselves um, and I think that's a positive thing, uh, it, it's a good pressure to have. Um, but we, we want to uh, keep getting better and we want to win trophies ultimately. And as a group, that's, that's where the goal is. Um, and, and to do that, the confidence that we can take from the way we played last season, um, there, there's definitely that feeling in, in the group that, yes, the trophy, the trophy is, the, is, is, where, is what we are, are aiming to achieve.